Good morning guys. Today I'm going to be putting plants outside and taking you guys along this process. My hair looks different too. I dyed my hair and trimmed it last night and fixed all of my grays. So yeah, it's really bright. I have to get used to it. If you guys are new, welcome. I'm Melissa and thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited. It is Saturday morning. It is like almost 10 o'clock and there's a ton of pollen out here on our back patio area. I am going to be blowing that away and kind of hosing it off. I'm going to be like treating the perimeter for bugs and just like sanitizing a little bit out here. And then I'm going to start putting plants out here. I really wanted to do some repotting. If my soil mixes come today, I'll do some repotting tomorrow and I might include that for this video depending on when they get here. But I have several plants that I want to put out here that I need to repot first. But I think just to get them out of here, I'm going to go ahead and put them outside. And then once my soil mixes come, I'll just repot them out here at some point. My plan is to do this back patio area and the front porch. First things first, I have my blower and a mask. I am going to leave the camera in here while I blow and clean just so I don't spread pollen anywhere. And then I will take you guys outside. I hope the geese come back. There is some geese just walking through our yard. Next time they come through, I'll show you guys. They're so cute. They're gonna be coming in droves here soon. And they start mating, and then there's like little babies that start crawling around everywhere. They're so cute. I love seeing them out here. It feels amazing out here. It is such a beautiful day. So a little update. I have like hosed off the entire oop, patio section here and I'm just waiting on things to kind of dry. There are some areas here on our pavement. I'm going to try and scrub and clean and then I'll slowly start to bring some plants out. And I have a few plants out there that have kind of died. Um, we went out of town for the holidays and I forgot to cover them. It was, we had this weird cold front come through. So it's unfortunate, but I'm going to probably put some plants out here on that section here and we'll eventually do some landscaping too. I'm thinking I want to put the big monstera in here and probably the other one. And out front is going to be a lot of succulents and snake plants. So I wanted to give you a little rundown if you are putting plants outside or you're looking to put plants outside. The biggest thing is acclimation because depending on which light is coming from which direction, you may have to acclimate them out slowly. This light here is all north facing directly in front of me. And you can kind of see where the sun ends in the shade. So to the right of me over here is east and to this side over here is west. So as long as they're in the shade and they're covered, it's okay to put plants out. You don't have to acclimate them in my like experience just with having plants outside for two years. And the biggest thing though, as the sun sets or moves, if any part of the plant is going to get sun on it, it will burn or just come outside in your space throughout the day and see where the sun lands, where it ends. In my patio, everything is covered. It doesn't get any sun in here whatsoever. I have a little staghorn hanging up here and I put that out here last year all summer and it did really well. 
He is so stinking cute. I love him. And he even has his own little basil frond. He didn't have that last year. I actually have a video on my channel where I put him on this board. If you're interested, I can link that. So anything that I put in here will not burn. I don't have to acclimate them. I can just put them out here. Last summer, I had a big bird of paradise in this corner. And unfortunately, during the rainy season, it got too wet. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to really put anything in that corner that can't handle a good like soak. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some caladiums and I might do a monstera over here a little bit further back. And last summer I had this whole thing. I'm gonna probably do maybe a little shelf here and I had a couple plants in this area. I'll probably put one monstera here. I really do want to get a huge birds of paradise like I did last year and they're just so pretty and I'm so mad that it rotted out from all the water from the rainy season. So if I do get another one, it'll probably have to go out here. I just don't know where to put it exactly. Those plants need so much light, you guys, and they're very stress sensitive. They'll rot easily. I'm gonna show you guys our front porch and I want you to see the light difference out there. And again, out front, it's just gonna be all of my snake plants and succulents because I do wanna put my ficus out there, but I don't know if it can tolerate the the sun out there. I'm not sure because it's my teneki and it's variegated. I'm worried it's going to burn. I could put it back in the corner because it is shade in that little corner, but I'm still worried it's going to be a little too intense. So my snake plants did burn a little bit last year. I put them out and I didn't acclimate them. I did put them in the shade, but part of the shade went away and where the sun hit the leaves, they burned. I might just put them out there bring them in and put them out there for like a couple weeks and hopefully they'll adjust, but we'll see. But they can handle a pretty good amount of sun. But I'm gonna take you guys out front and let me show you that space that we're working with out there. This is our front door. It's going to be really bright at first, but let me show you what's going on out here. I did just spray this all off, so it's a little wet. So instantly, do you see like how much sun is, is out here? It's really bright, hot, and intense. This is all south facing. And I'm gonna show you where the shade, how far the shade comes back. So the sun pretty much comes all the way to the door. I don't know if I can put my teneki out here. I would love to put it back in that corner. I'm gonna try it and see, cause I think it would grow really well out here. I had my snake plants and stuff all along here and they did well, but again, this all gets sun. So I'm gonna have to acclimate them. And this cactus planter I had out here last summer, and I actually had it out here all winter. It did get a little bit of frost damage during that cold front, but all in all, it did well. I'm gonna move him. I had him sitting right out here in full sun, and it grew so much. But I do want to, I have like four more cactus plants inside, and I do want to, I think, repot this cactus planter and do a longer one, maybe instead of that round one. I also have a few succulents that I want to repot and put out here as well. I'm probably gonna have about three to four snake plants, cactus, succulents, and then my ficus. That's the only plants that are gonna be able to, to tolerate just the heat out here. It's just, it's just full sun pretty much the entire day. I did have a monstera here last summer and it didn't like it at all. Even though monsteras can tolerate a pretty good amount of light and sun, it, it was just very, stressful for it and it dried out a lot so everything that i put out here just i just have to be really careful and our entire like front yard and everything gets full sun and that's my plant room right there two big south windows so yeah we do want to landscape eventually you know and get palm trees agave and plant a bunch of stuff here and then our garage is on this side and yeah, we have lots to do. I want to get scrubbing the back patio areas, a couple marks, and then I'm going to, yeah, just start putting some plants out there. And like I said, I have a lot that I have to repot that I want to do with the outside plants. So I'm just going to have to wait until my soil is here. But yeah, I will be back on here in a little while and we'll put some plants outside. The loud geese are back. They're so cute. Do you guys hear how loud they're being? <laughs> they're gonna start coming in droves here in probably a month's time. There's gonna be so many of them.
I have some stains here on the patio from just either the cats or doing like plant chores. So I'm just using like vinegar and baking soda to clean these up. These are all the pots that I had in the garage that I usually use for the outdoor plants. I have some heavier ceramics that I'll just like sit the nursery pot in. I'm not gonna plant into them. Although I have planted into some of them before. The wicker baskets I'll probably use for some indoor plants. I actually forgot I had these out here. And the beige ones here, I usually plant the caladiums in. I have a few more elephant ear bulbs that I'll probably do in a planter. I was hoping I had more plant stands. I only have one more stand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see what I can work with with these and you know, just match a plant with a pot and put it outside. I do need to rinse a few of these out. They have dirt and stuff in them. So that's probably what I'm gonna do next is rearrange the patio back and start bringing some plants out and rinsing these off. The breeze feels so amazing today. It is such a perfect day. So I have finished cleaning and rearranging all the pollen. Everything is nice and clean. So now's the fun part. Now I get to start putting plants out. It's getting a little bit late in the afternoon, but that's okay. This monstera looks so good out here. I don't know if anyone remembers this monstera. I rescued it last summer and it gave me this huge re leaf recently during winter in my plant room. Look at how huge it is. Like this is my hand. Ah, it's gonna love being outside. I need to repot it though. And I added some fertilizer in and I'm gonna water it in and just like mist the leaves off cause they're dusty. I'm excited. I'll probably have to change the pot though once I repot it. But that one's kind of like a heavier ceramic so it can support a little wind blowing. That looks so good right there. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm thinking about keeping my Monstera Siltipicana out here. I don't know if you guys can make it out that much because of the light. And then I'm not sure how I would water it if I can somehow like put this watering globe on the side, I could water it this part of it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see what it does. So I'm gonna be chopping this plant once it reaches the top. So I feel like If I can at least let it stay like this until I can chop it. I definitely don't want this to fall because this is glass. 
I started watering it inside, but it's only watered from here up. The rest of it isn't watered. And I feel like with the rainy season too, the rain coming in and out of here will help keep this plant hydrated, the pole at least, I'm thinking. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how I feel about it. It's kind of tilted so I could get it up under there. I don't like that it's tilted. All the geese are back. It's the same four that keep wandering over here. And then I put this other Monstera Deliciosa over here. This is, it was thirsty, it's a little droopy. I had this one out here last summer. I brought Luna out in this pink little hut to get some air. She's not feeling well today, which she's been sleepy because I gave her some pain medicine. So I let her come out here to enjoy the outside. These two snake plants, I'm gonna go ahead and put outside. I repotted them at the end of summer last, you know, last summer. So I don't have to repot them. I just have to fertilize them. Sorry, that was my husband calling me. He went, he went to the grocery store real quick. So yeah, I repotted these at the end of summer, last summer, so they're good. I'm just gonna re-fertilize them and I'm gonna put them out there, then I'll water them out there. And then tomorrow, I'll just have to probably, I'll just bring them in by the front door for a little bit and I'll just like slowly put them in and out. Those are the only two plants I'm gonna put out, out front right now. And you know, I have to repot the other succulents and snake plants, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put these two big ones out there. And then, um, like I said, if I leave them out there and that sun beams on them for more than like an hour or so, they're going to start burning. So I'll have to bring them in, put them out, bring them in, and it's like slowly transition them. Right, so this is where I'm going to keep them. And you can see now the shade, there's no sun landing on the plants. So they'll be fine to stay out here till sometime tomorrow. And earlier the sun was coming pretty much all the way in this corner. I will do the ficus in this corner um, after I repot it. This snake plant here is actually my oldest plant. And I put it outside last summer for the first time. And you guys, it seriously, it has like quadrupled in size. Sprinkle some fertilizer. I accidentally spilled soil. There's some on this cactus planter too. <laughs> I don't water snake plants very often over winter, but I'm gonna give these guys a good soak. Here's another view of the porch. As the sun is setting in the evening, I get less and less light on the porch. So it's like midday is where it starts to scorch everyone. And so tomorrow I just have to be mindful to either, I can either leave these out here in the shade as long as no sun hits it, or I'll just bring them in temporarily. But if I forget and the sun hits them, they will burn. So I'm gonna try to remember to come out here and at least maybe put them in the corner where they don't really get too much sun. It's okay for a little bit, but any more than like an hour or so, they may start to burn. And my cactus may even burn a little too, but that's okay. I feel like they're pretty hardy. And it's been outside all winter, so it should be fully acclimated out here. Hello guys, popping back on. It's like maybe three, four days later since I, no. I started putting plants out Saturday. Today is Tuesday, so it's been a few days. So I'm gonna give you a final little look through and I still have more plants to put out here, but I think I have to repot them. And I think I wanna film those for a separate repot video. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little tour for what I put out here now. And I'll do an updated probably houseplant tour at some point this summer and give you guys like a closer look at everything. But I'm gonna show you what I have going on and then I will end this video. On this side of the lanai, we have a two Monstera Deliciosas. We have the big one here that was in my plant room. This one was in my dining area and it is working on a new leaf there, which is exciting. And I have my Siltipacana tall moss pole here. I will probably chop this again, you know, like I said, at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it there and do my best to keep it hydrated out here. On this side, we have my other Monstera Deliciosa. I had this one out here last summer and it loved it. It is working on a new leaf right there. They are waking up. 
And then I put my Squamy Ferrum here just because there wasn't any space really in my plant room. So I'm gonna see how it likes it out here and how it does. And then I have my staghorn fern there. And I know you guys can't really see that well, but that bench, I just have my Billiet TA there on the end, the Jose Bueno and my Dracaena. So that's all the plants I have out here for right now. I am going to be planting my Caladium bulbs. I haven't done that yet for spring here and get those potted up. So I'll probably do that at some point. And then let me show you out front. It is about four o'clock in the afternoon and you can see there's still a little bit of sun coming onto the front porch. Earlier today, like around noon, one o'clock when I was out, the sun, pretty much this entire porch was covered in sun, minus that corner and that corner there. So I actually just put my ficus teneki out here and you guys will see a repot video on that soon. Back here in the corner, it's not gonna get any sun, I don't think. I'll have to check like midday just to be sure, but I don't think it would burn being in that corner. So I think that's a good spot and I think it would really thrive out here in the shade and I, and I don't have to acclimate it if sun isn't gonna be landing on it. So I'm gonna see how it does. It's gonna be like kind of like a day by day thing and just peeking on it. And I put my other ficus here, the triangularis, just here again. This will be in shade. So I'm gonna see how that one does. This one is gonna get sun on it, so I'm gonna to have to come out here and be mindful to like pull that one back a little bit. And then as they kind of get used to a little bit more sun, I can like bring them forward a little bit this way. And then I'll have to keep in mind to keep these guys on my front porch a little bit more watered. Usually out front here, I have to water them every... Snake plants, I'm usually watering them every week, maybe even twice a week, depending on the amount of sun. Since I didn't have this one out here last year, I'm not sure how the soil's gonna dry out. I did just upsize it to an eight inch, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how that one does. But I imagine I'm probably gonna be watering these at least once a week. And then my cactus planter here gets full sun and it's doing just fine. And once I repot my other snake plants, I'm gonna repot my whale fins. I'm gonna put them probably down here and my other succulents I'll probably put actually right here. So I could leave those there. So once I get those other ones repotted, they will be going here and getting full sun and should be okay. I might have to move the snake plants like actually right here, my two whale fins. So thank you guys for joining me on putting plants outside. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, if you have any questions, definitely let me know down below. I don't normally put a lot of plants outside because I'm always worried about pests and things out of my control, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them and see how they do. And as I go to bring plants back in, I will make another video. I didn't really treat my plants last summer and I'm going to treat them this time because I don't want any pest coming inside, any bugs. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on, you know, how they're doing and of course when it's time to bring them back in, how they do and any tips I have to give you guys. So if you have any questions, let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later.